quick note about Imakuni's deck name before I begin. See, you might have noticed in the actual game footage it had plants in the title, but he obviously did not use any sort of grass Pokémon in his deck as he used a water psychic deck. I think that was some sort of error in the translation patch as I looked up other versions of his deck name out there and none of them have plants in there so I omitted it from the sidebar over there and there you go. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough and something that I let you explore yourself was remember I said that you could check out the other stuff around here other than the stuff that has an X on it? Well that was only partially true because you see what if we were to go to the Electric Fortress over here, see how things are going, she, and then she's like, receptionist, Thank you for visiting. This is Team Jar's Electric Fortress. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to enter at this time. Oh, once you show me the GR Grass Coin, you may enter the fortress. Uh-huh. 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 And basically all that dialogue is copy-pasted on all of these other ones. <laughs> So, I don't really have to show you any of this or whatnot, because it's just the same sort of dialogue, only change with names of the respective coins and whatnot. Alright, now that I got that out of the way, we can go ahead and check out a new and a beautiful room. We got some glowy moss rocks to fill the room with ambience for our epic duel. Rick is hanging out in the cage. Wait a second, Rick! Mint, it's me. Rick, the Science Club Master. What are you doing on GR Island? Oh, you're here to fight Team GR and went back to stolen cards? I see. I'll give you some information to help you on your way. Is she gonna let you say that? It appears that certain coins must be prevented to enter fortresses. Each fortress leader is entrusted with a coin. Okay, that's not new. <laughs> if you can defeat leaders in card battles, you'll get their coin. I'm sure it'll be okay, having defeated the Grand Masters before. Still, please take care of yourself. Do your best for everyone's sake. Uh, I had overheard some GR members talking about a king of Team GR. While the king of Team GR remains undefeated, peace is impossible. Undefeated, huh? Undefeated, huh? Well, let's wait until I get over there. I'm about to end that whole man's career. <laughs> Knowing your skill, you'll surely be able to beat Team GR's king. Please try your best for everyone's sake. Ah, uh, okay. That seems to be all here. Good afternoon. Are you Mint? I'm Melissa, one of the members of Team GR's Grass Fortress. It's nice to finally meet you. I was told you would be coming. As per Team GR's orders, you must fight me to open this gate. So, will you have a duel with me? Win, and you'll get some new cards. Of course, you may also advance, and we'll free this guy behind me. <laughs> Isn't the he the master of the science club on your island? Help! He's free to go. If you can defeat me, of course. Would you like to- Nope, I want to see the dialogue. Say what now? It's bad news if you won't fight. You have to battle if you want to visit the other GR fortresses. Okay, so what I really actually want to do too is, yeah, make sure that deck is uh, selected. <laughs> Just to be sure! Hey, come on, let's play. You do realize you have no choice but to fight me first, right? Hmm. Alright. Okie dokie, we'll have a pleasant match with four prize cards. Insect Collector Attack! Man, she is one happy girl to be having a duel of death. I mean, listen to the music for this! <laughs> Alright, so that's an iffy hand other than Professor Oak, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not that iffy, but I mean that I feel like I'm gonna be dumping a bunch of cards just for the water energy and whatnot. Well, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, I can immediately evolve into Seeking on the start of the next turn if I wanted to. And... yeah, I guess we're okay. I don't think she'll be able to power through my ball dancing fish here, so... We shall see. Yeah, she's, she's like, okay, I, no, I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just gonna power up my bug on the bench. <laughs> Alright, so... I suppose... Energy removal back, because I want another energy and I don't have another energy. So we're gonna do that. And hopefully I'll get an energy. The chances are very high that I'll get an energy, but I'm dumping a lot of cards to get this energy, unfortunately. Uh, I just wanna 
kind of speed along the KOs here, and okay, we got some benched critters, we got some Bulbasaurs, and that also counts as the benched critters, let's waterfall that Caterpie away! Maybe I can beat her really quick, I <laughs> The <laughs> duels have been lasting pretty long when I like when I try using the pre-made decks back basically when I meet when I'm using my regular decks it's it's like a whole other ball game unless I get some really bad draws. Alright, so you get the paralysis. You must be proud of yourself. Because I was just saying I could have maybe <laughs> Nah, we're fine, we're fine. Let's go power that up and uh Actually maybe I'll plop the other bulbasaur down there. Just in case of Ivy Sorage. And uh oh! And she's got the moth! I repeat, she's got the moth and she's got a gust of wind combo coming here. And yeah, I actually get to choose the critter that gets switched in, so I'll star you it is. So she's gonna do 20 there, but yeah, since I can keep choosing who it is. I'm gonna just basically choose the one that does the most damage. Staryu and um, Seeking are doing well, so I think I'm gonna focus on the other critters. I don't know why I grabbed the water, but... <laughs> so let's give it a slap a -roo and call it a turn. You know, it'd be nice to have a plus power for that Seeking. <laughs> she's, only got, she's only got the one left, and yeah, that would be lovely. <laughs> Ah, we'll be fine. Maybe she gets another bench Pokemon. Hello! <laughs> if we get another bench Pokemon. Um, that'll be okay for the colorless. Mm, you know, I'll just save it. We're, we're in fine position. If she gets another Pokemon, she gets another Pokemon. I'll be fine. We don't have to finish her off and <laughs> in a ridiculously quick amount of turns. And it looks like poison is the one. Which is better, actually. <laughs> Seeking will be saved, but her Venomoth will not be saved. <laughs> so I, I. Oh, yeah, I didn't really show that Venomoth. Um, yeah, the Tornado Gust is like Gust of Wind com combo with the. Uh, uh, but she also is forced to switch, but if she has any, she doesn't. So that's a big but. Um, and Rainbow Powder is the Paralysis if heads, but if tails it's poison. Both are good flips, but in the case of what she needed, she needed Paralysis to prevent me from knocking her out, so... So... You know what, I'm just gonna... Oops, that's right. I'm gonna just see what Professor Oak gives me here. Just out of curiosity. Because I'm gonna win this turn anyway, so... Just... Ooh, Bill. <laughs> it's like we're... Now we're into a chain of draw cards. Uh, you got the other site there. Might as well plop that on there just for fun. Oh, oh, oh! Might as well plop this on that fish, or why not? Even though it's the poison, it'll do it in anyway. Might as well evolve with that Bulbasaur. And might as well waterfall. <laughs> just why not? <laughs> Alright. That was relatively quick, I would say. I messed around a little bit here and there, but Melissa is a goner. Oh well, I guess I lost. I'll just enjoy the glowy moss. Let's see what we get here. Dark Alexanth. Oh, we got one of them now. Uh, teleport Blast. Switch Dark Alexanth while on your bench critters. And Mind Shock. Don't apply the weakness and resistance, but extremely, extremely low HP for a stage 2 Pokemon. That is quite a detriment. You might want to put a lot of defenders in there when you see Pokemon with that low HP. Uh, you know that, 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 okay. And another? No. <laughs> I did my best. I have no regrets. Nugget Bridge, 1995. Because <laughs> you defeated my deck, I'll open the gate. Rick will be free to leave his cage as well. I'M FREE! I'M FREE! Thanks for your help, Mint. Please take this card as thanks for your valiant rescue. The greatest Snorlax in the world! <laughs> Hungry Snorlax. It literally is based around hunger. Check this out. You got eat and roll out. Put, put a food counter on Snorlax. <laughs> And you can put up to two maximum food counters and roll out. So you basically power up the rollout with the food counters as you go. So 
Well, you could just spam that rollout. If you need to, you could power it up to 80 in two more turns instead of three for 60. Ah, see how that works? See how that works? But, but, I was just going to say high retreat cost, but I forgot that's on the, <laughs> on the other screen. I hope you all have as much success with your future duels. As for me, I'm going to return to the science club. Feel free to stop by when you're back on our island. I'd be more than happy to have a duel or two with you if you're game. And thus, the science club is back open <laughs> for duels if I want to go back there. But not right now. I'm going to focus on the grass fort. You may proceed to the next room. James is waiting for you there. You'll battle him too, correct? Yeah, probably. But okay, that... <laughs> As for that Snorlax, hungry Snorlax, retreat cost four. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's like the other Snorlax, but I'm gonna put it in the deck anyway because it's an interesting card and I love Snorlax. But I must swap out something else. I'm thinking I should probably swap out. Oh, maybe not one of those. Oh, it looks I don't know. Yeah, I think that that's too balanced to swap on anything there. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't wanna. Oh, I got. That's right. I got that scyther to put in there too. Poopers. Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, um. Maybe I should drop some trainers. I, I'm definitely not energy removal, <laughs> Professor Oak. Uh, how will we go? Because, yeah, I got plus powers, as I said, so I, I just didn't happen to draw them. Um, just wanna, wanna make room for the new cards. I'll show you the new cards, you know? You know? <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll drop a bill. Even though, I mean, it's just, it's plus two cards. Well, it's technically plus one card, because you have to play bill to get the two. So, but, uh, actually, you know what? I'll do that, yeah. Because the Professor Oak is, uh, it, it's probably ample enough, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I should also probably do this. I can always flip-flop the cards in the deck anyway, but... Yeah, I'm just in a hurry. <laughs> I don't want to spend all day modifying my deck, you know? I prefer to do that sort of stuff off-camera. But since I got the hungry Snorlax and that Scyther, I thought, eh, let's put them in there. So, you finally made it over here, amen? Wait, what? Do you know me? Name's James, but I'm more commonly known by another name. G R number one. Yep, that's him. <laughs> and that's G R number one. No way I'm losing this time. If I do, there's no way the king of Team G R will forgive me. So yeah, he's showing us his face. He's gonna be going at us in full power. Come on, let's go, Mint. Uh, not yet. What? Why won't you fight me, Mint? I won't give up without a duel. Uh, you won't be able to beat me, the GR Prince of Grass, this time. Come on, let's go, Mint. Uh, okay, just wanted to be sure. Yes, four prize cards. Let's go, Hungry Snorlax! Just assuming I draw it, I only have one copy. I'll show you the true strength of my deck. The Forest Fiend Deck! <laughs> so, yeah, this is his deck at its peak. GR number one. His identity has been revealed! Why, why did I do that? <laughs> I just immediately see Bill and I'm like, okay, I'll play that. No, it's a, I can't play it, it's the first turn. Um, I should probably Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Venatat. The reason why I'm doing the Bulbasaur is because of the, uh, I have two copies of it. So even though Venonat can attack on first turn as well, assuming I get an energy card, it's just, it's just a thing of that. Oh, oh, he's only got one! Oh no! He's, he's having deck trouble, too, with this with our bad luck lately. <laughs> Alright, no trainer cards, but that doesn't stop me from regular drawing. Water energy. Um, well... Well... I could tackle. Just, like, tackle him to death. <laughs> I suppose. But I don't want to put anything other than that one water energy, because... I... Uh, uh oh <laughs> That will be helpful. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't want to put any more than the water energy because it doesn't help to power up even Ivysaur, and especially not Venusaur in the future. This is just something to uh, nick on the old uh, reserves and whatnot, you know? <laughs> uh, 
that, that he's got going on there, especially, you know, to put pressure on him because this is his only critter out there. Uh, but yeah, Grudge, 10 dam it's only damage plus 10 more damage times the number of prize cards your opponent has taken. But since I took no prize cards yet, I... <laughs> okay, so he attacked this time with something else, so I can use... Hello. <laughs> I always say hello with Professor Oak. Um, I kind of want that. Uh, you know, I'm gonna... I'll suck away your energy, sure. As long as I'm gonna discard my hand for Professor Oak, but yeah, I can't really... I can plus power that, though. Uh, I'll, I'll probably get another Seeking somewhere in there, probably. Should be alright, we'll see. There's a Goldeen. Alas... Oh, there's another Goldeen! <laughs> um... How do I want to distribute these? I'll pro I probably should focus on the other Bulbasaur and then... Yeah, because I can, I can just do the tackle for 20 now, and then when he inevitably knocks out, or not, he's in that no energy? I was going to say, whenever he inevitably knocks out my Bulbasaur, uh, I'll have the other one waiting to Razor Leaf, but, um, are, are you are you serious? Am I, am, no, I, I, I can't win that easily, could I? <laughs> oh, yes, I can. <laughs> um, that's, huh. That, that's kind of disappointing, actually. <laughs> Should I battle him again? <laughs> that was too quick. Dang it, beaten again. <sighs> Take this. Rocket Booster Pack. <sighs> Dark Eridosa. You see that? Okay. <sighs> it seems like all I do anymore is sigh. <laughs> and I sometimes wonder if you're an unbeatable kid. Well, a loss is a loss. I'll open the doors. Yeah, so that's two duels I won in a row by not taking all the prize cards, but like just by beating them before they even put stuff on the bench. Open Sesame is the password! Go <laughs> quickly. Liz is waiting for you in the other room. She's so much stronger than me, so go on already. You know what? Do me a favor and duel with me. No. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I don't want to battle now either. <laughs> it's been mutually decided then. Till next time, and. Okay, okay. I, I really feel I should. I mean, it's only four prize cards, and that was, that was, yeah, that was even worse than the first one. <laughs> I just feel like I should give him another chance. I mean, I know he's kind of a part of the bad guys, but I should give him another chance anyway. <laughs> they give me another chance when I, when I have bad draws, you know? <laughs> um, well, I know, we'll see. Maybe it's gonna flip around on my end this time, we're gonna have to do two out of three. <laughs> oh, Ghastly is in the forefront like before, this is like, it feels like a repeat, other than, you know, uh, he has more bench Pokemon than I, you know, well, yeah, it's, it's kind of like on the other side, but anyway, it's Tackle. And call it a turn. And hopefully I'll get some sort of basic on uh, the next turn. We shall see though. Uh, it doesn't much matter actually. Energy removal. Uh, I should probably do that. Do this on the. Wait, what? Oh, we're... oh, yeah. I was gonna say do that because of Bulbasaur. Um, yeah. Well, but I guess it doesn't really matter because this is a different Bulbasaur. Come to think of it, I don't think I showed this one. If this Pokemon has any damage counters on me. May remove one of them. So it's like Leech Seed, only without the damage in a way. It's kind of a bit of a stall. Uh, and poisons, but 50 HP, so it's not that bad, really. Because the poison is actually going to do 20 damage at the end of the opponent's next turn, unless they switch or something like that, so... Yeah, it's pretty cheap, so it might be the best version of Bulbasaur. Anyway, um, now that I think about it, do I want to knock out that Ghastly? Like, this soon? Because he's gonna... Probably poison the Bulbas my Bulbasaur. I mean, he could only, he could do that anyway, because gas has got the free retreat cost, but, you know, AI-wise, I'm thinking I should just tackle. <laughs> just, I don't know if it'll work, because he might still attack with the Bulbasaur, you know, just to try and um, power through for the victory. No? Uh, well, no? Okay. So I was right about the AI. Hungry, Storlax, there you are! <laughs> okay. So here we go. It is time to show you the power of the Snorlax. But first, the Razor Leaf. 
<laughs> Alright, so that's a KO, and now we are in good position once again. Yeah, I don't know if it would have made much of a difference, really, if I would have... I mean, he would have probably went for the poison, but I would have got... Yeah, I think I would have only taken 30 damage by then, so I would have been hanging on the brink of destruction there. Because it was between, you know, those turns, so there's the poison. See, it goes over to me, and then it would be back over to him, and then back over to me, which is 30. And then I would have gotten these Hungry Snorlax anyway, so... I guess I could have safely knocked out that ghastly. Alright, so just for the sake of saving my sore, I'm gonna go ahead and have a nibble. <laughs> That's, you got cherries next to there now. <laughs> One counter total. So that has powered up my rollout. And you can poison my Snorlax if you'd like to. But I'm going to be going for the powerful sweep if possible now. Yeah, we're gonna save that Magikarp for a Gyarados if possible. And we're gonna go also wipe out that energy. And now for the rollout, you can use as many food counters as you like. I'm gonna go for one because it powers it up by 30. 20 plus 30 equals 50 for the prize card. Alright, so Hungry Snorlax is in a bit of a pickle because of the poison, but yet it has a psychic resistance, so it can afford a couple of turns just to relax, you know, just... That, that's kind of what it does. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go power up the Magikarp as promised. Defender will not help against poison, by the way. Uh, we're gonna go... I guess I'll just do a rollout really quick, just in case of uh, any disasters in, along the way, because I still have... Like, if I want to speed things along, it would still be um, three turns, even if I used Eat twice, so I figured, eh, there it is! Alright. So we're gonna roll out again. Yeah, that's the thing about Hungry Snorlax, is you've gotta be mindful of the math, so to speak. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, okay, we should be good to go after this. <laughs> Maybe I should've actually evolved um, Magikarp into Gyarados just to give it extra HP, but... Well, it didn't much matter anyway. Roll out! <laughs> <laughs> that gives flashbacks of Whitney, but not by mill tanks. We're okay. We are okay. All right. So hungry Snowlax is looking looking a little weak. Might have to go to the discard pile. But we'll be okay. Uh, except maybe not if it confuses. Dang it. Maybe I just shouldn't attack. Like just well. I mean, I guess I could try because either or between turns, I'm gonna have to. It's a four swap. Um. Let's see, let's go Goldeen, in case of Seeking. Yeah, and I think I will go for the rollout. Come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> that sets it up perfectly for Gyarados. Um, now what I should do is not switch in Gyarados. What I should do is put in something with a zero retreat cost, and it'll act as a defender, and then I'll have Gyarados be the power of the end game, basically. Uh, that kind of puts him in a much more difficult position, because he can't do... Like, even if he knocks out one of my Pokémon due to a bunch of lucky coin flips, it, he's still a goner, because I have one prize card left, he's got multiples, and then I just have one uh, Dragon Rage for the win. Might as well just do that for fun. <laughs> Might as well just do this for fun. Wait, what? I thought... Oh, shoot! That's... Oh... I was wrong! Scyther... This version of Scyther has a one retreat cost. Poopers! So he lives a turn. I forgot about that. Is <laughs> that Dark Ivy Sword? We'll still be okay. We got three prize cards, and I've got a big fish. I just need one energy. <laughs> uh, wait, actually, um, should I...? No, he's got grass energy on the... Okay. Just kind of ignore that for now, which is no big deal. One energy? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I might as well do that. I wouldn't call it a turn. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should have put out the big fish to speed things. Yeah, you can't confuse, I suppose, but oh, you didn't. So that works in my favor. Still need an energy. Any energy, dang it. <laughs> uh, done. <laughs> I'll just end up just clicking through menus now. Oh, wait, Rob, really? You were in good position with that Haunter, why would you do that? I mean, it, it, I guess it, maybe, I mean, maybe you don't want me to play trainer cards, or...? 
Maybe? Because you sense I have defenders? But you can't really do much with the Ghastly anyway, and you could pull out energy cards too, but none of your Pokémon really have above 50 HP, so that Dragon Rage is always... always a threat. Yeah, like... <laughs> it's kind of what I was setting up there. Alright, so let's do the retreat into the Big Fish Dragon Rage. Let's go! <laughs> By the way, Dragon Rage does uh, 10 more damage than it does in the actual Game Boy games in here. It always does 40 in those, no matter what. But in here, always 50. And the victory goes to Linux Mint. Ugh, again, I was defeated. Here, take this booster pack. And you could, yeah, this is another thing that you can do if you really wanted to, is rebattle people over and over to get cards. If you wanted to, it's up to you. It's, yeah, it's no big deal if you know. As you see, I'm just kind of having a good time just defeating them all in order without, without rebattling for the most part, you know? <laughs> uh, anyway, let's move on with the groove on Freaky Eyes Ammonite Returns. <laughs> And oh that oh this Voltor with speedball is gonna be a problem in the next area. Uh, I'll I'll explain why when we get there. <laughs> but, but for now I'll just keep that in mind. You might be able to join Team Jar with your deck building skills. Don't think you'll keep winning forever, Mint. I won't, because I'll probably get a bad draw one of these days again. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video when I tackle the remaining members of the GR Grass Forts.